Okay, cool. So um, I guess I'll get this started. Um, I'm very excited, first of all, for this opportunity to be talking about this subject with you all. Um, I appreciate you all taking the time out of your day for this. So with that, I think it's important that everyone understands and knows who you are talking to here. So um, my name is Ishmael. I am an account executive here over at 3Kit. I'm going to be taking us through a couple of you know, higher level slides just to set the stage to then turn it over to Will Thompson, who is a member of our solutions engineering team. He is going to be walking us through a couple of interactive demos. And then we'll be wrapping it up and opening up the floor for any questions or comments. Um, I will let you all know you have the opportunity at any point. You can um, send in a question via chat or you also do have the opportunity, have the option to unmute yourself and um, you can just ask away that way as well too. So with that, today we're gonna to be talking about hosting a virtual photo shoot with 3D. And I think it's important to touch on why this subject is even, you know, of importance in today's day and age. And it's plain and simple. Online buyers want to be able to see what they're purchasing. And that's when you see this, that 83% of buyers point to product visuals as the most influential factor in purchasing decisions. So as a brand, you have to understand that this is more important than comments, than reviews, uh, star ratings, video reviews, whatever it may be, it's images. That is what matters for our um, your buyers. So to kind of dive a little bit deeper into this subject uh, when it comes to images, it's important to call out that back in 2016, there was a survey that was done of the average US um, online shopper, and they found that they expected three images per product back in 2016. And then in 2019, when they took a look at the same survey, that number more than doubled to eight images, and it's going to continue to grow. And this is just, you know, further proving out that trend uh, where visuals matter, visuals are important. So as a brand, you have to go back to the drawing board and see what is available currently on your site. You know, what percentage of your product catalog is able to be visualized on your website and what are the necessary steps we can take or what are the solutions out there that we can utilize to get that number from, I don't know if it's 20%, 30%, 40% up to the 80, 90, or even 100% mark. So when we talk about that, uh, there are certain, I guess, items, goods, whatever you sell, that is nearly impossible to, you know, conduct a photo shoot to get every single different combination. So when we use a sofa or even a piece of jewelry, when you look at all the different metal finishes, all of the different, um, you know, ring sizes, all the different band options, whatever you may have, it's nearly impossible to manufacture every single individual good, rent out or use your local photo studio, bring in your photographer, and then take multiple angle shots of each individual item. It's too time consuming and it's not cost effective, especially when you look at the fact that you're going to have to have at least eight images of every single um, different manufactured good. So when we talk about 3D and utilizing that to conduct a virtual photo shoot, this is where 3Kit comes in. We combine two aspects of your business, your creative side, which are all of the different images that you're hoping to get, whether they be lifestyle shots, specific angles, zoomed in, zoomed out, um, provide us or provide 3Kit with those um, parameters. And then we combine that with the commercial side, which is all of the different business rules and logic that you have for each individual product. This fabric can go on this couch, this wood finish can go on this table, so on and so forth. And combined, that's where you get 3Kit, which is able to generate images for every single different possible product combination. And we can be as little as you're looking for a couple of photos or even millions or even billions of photos. These are all rendered out in, uh, from a single design file through 3Kit with a click of a button. So as I take a breath here, um, I know I covered a lot uh, and I think it's important to touch on a few um, case studies, a couple of business cases that 
um, three hit was able to help. And one that I like to start off with is Taylor Brands, which is also, you know, you may know as Joseph A. Bank or Men's Warehouse, where they came to us um, with a problem that they needed to revolutionize their, I guess, brand in general, where that typical three for three ninety nine suit deal that they, you know, thrived upon just wasn't working anymore. Because when we take a look at, especially today's environment, people aren't wearing suits. People aren't dressing up like they used to back in the day. So what they wanted to focus on is by offering their customers with a bespoke suit option that is fully customized that they will pay a little bit more for because they only need one suit. They don't need six in their closet. So instead of paying $399, they're going to pay $1,000, $2,000 plus. Now the problem was they have millions of different combinations for each individual suit option, all of the different linings, the fabrics, the lapels, the button options. So it ended up being around over a billion different sort of configurations. But easily with three kit, we were able to in real time render out every single different possible suit combination for their salespeople in the stores um, for them to utilize on an iPad to help their customers as they're building their suits. And more importantly, they are looking to launch an e-commerce site, um, which uh, we are hoping to have rolled out as well for them too. So a salesperson is not needed. And next up, um, I'm gonna be talking about Crate and Barrel. This is a furniture retailer based here in Chicago. And uh, back in, I believe it was 2016, 2017, their newly appointed CEO came to us saying, we need to win digital because only 30% of their products were being visualized online. Now, again, similar to Tailored Brands, the problem they were faced with was they had hundreds of different fabric options and multiple different product offerings. So it was nearly impossible to conduct a you know, physical photo shoot for every single different combination. Plus, they're always adding new materials. They're adding a spring collection, a summer collection, a fall collection, and they have to have a software that's able to keep up with all of these changes that they're making to their current product catalog. And with that, again, with 3Kit, they're easily able to do that with an in-house team that is able to add new materials, add new fabrics on their own, and um, have them uploaded to the website uh, seamlessly. So now utilizing 3Kit, online sales went from 20% to now close to 50%, and they've got upwards of 90% of their product catalog visualized online. So with that, um, I am going to be turning it over to Will Thompson here. He's gonna be taking us through the live demo. So Will, I will pass it off to you. Thanks, Ishmael. Hey everybody, my name is Will Thompson. I am a member of the solution engineering team here at 3Kit. Uh, and like Ishmael said, I'm going to show you a, a live walkthrough of um, a virtual photo shoot. Um, and before we do that, I kind of want to tell you what goes into um, setting up a virtual photo shoot. So um, everything, every virtual digital photo shoot starts with a configurable product. So here we are in 3Kit and our configurable product in 3Kit lives as a 3D model. Um, inside the platform, we'll componentize this model will separate it into bits and pieces uh, and make all the options that are available. In the case of this tap, you can see that we have a couple different tap styles and we also have tap colors. So all of these options live in 3Kit as individual pieces. And when I change from gold to matte black, uh, 3Kit will assemble these items in a true 3D space in real time. So, this is the start of our photo shoot. From this screen, I can create images um, of this tap in every variation that we have available to the right here. Um, and we can make those images uh, easily just across the white background like you see here. Uh, but we can also get infinitely more robust. Um, and in our virtual photo shoot, we can set up camera angles, props, lighting, anything you can do in a real photo studio, you can do with our virtual photographer. So now that you kind of have a high level understanding of what it takes to, um, to start a digital photo shoot, I'll show you what uh, a store looks like that actually has images that were generated by, by 3Kit. So if you shop online, this is probably gonna look very familiar to you. This is our catalog of products for Nile Kitchen and Bath. Um, you may notice some of these products look familiar to the one I just showed you. Um, as we scroll through the gallery, I'm just gonna make a couple of 
observations. So you can see the different tap styles, tap finishes, um, that all started from our 3D model. An advantage of this uh, virtual photo shoot is that we can achieve uh, an incredible level of consistency across these images. Um, notice that they're all in the same position as you scroll through the gallery. We're not, um, you know, bouncing our eyes back and forth trying to find the, the product in the next image. They're all in the same spot because in our virtual um, photographer, you select where you want your product to be. In this case, we put it on a marble slab. We hit go and 3Kit does the rest. And like we said before, uh, you have complete control over this digital photo studio. So these thumbnails are a great uh, first look at your product. But like Ishmael said, your customers are expecting at least eight images per product. So I'll show you what some more images for these products looks like. Again, here's our new tap. But now on the left, you can see that we have a gallery of images. And again, our tap finishes and styles to the right. The one thing I want to point out here is that um, we have surpassed the eight images per product. And for each product you saw in the gallery that I scrolled through, uh, 3Kit has made 20 plus images per product. And these are the camera angles that I was mentioning before. So you can get up close, you can get a detailed shot of the spout, of the tap head. And again, you can set the scene uh, in a more robust way as well. So you can create this entire bathroom out of digital items. This sink is a 3D model, the mirrors are 3D models, the towels even, yes, the toilet paper, all starts as a 3D model. And if you're selling luxury items or you know, if you're selling to a customer that may spend a, a couple hundred dollars on a, a bath tap, there's other things to take into account as well. Notice this, um, the accent metals in this bathroom. We have a brushed gold tap selected. So around the mirrors, it's brushed gold in the shower. If I select matte black, for instance, yes, the tap does update, but also so does all the accent metals in the bathroom. So it's just another level of immersiveness that you can provide to your customers. Because if they're gonna buy luxury items, they may already have um, a color palette that they wanna fit it into or a certain type of aesthetic. Um, and if they don't, maybe they're gonna go that way. Again, it's all about just providing your customers with those rich images that they're looking for so they can see what these products look like in their space. And again, these product or these images rather don't just have to live here on the product page. If I add this tap as configured to my cart, I'll see it over there. Here's our matte black. Again, once these images are created, um, they're yours to use however you'd like. You can use them in marketing materials, uh, in your e-commerce store, social media, really anywhere an image can go, we can create images for that use. So this is how uh, 3K can provide or can create images with our virtual photographer. Um, and I showed you just a quick uh, example of, of what these environments can look like and how you can set these scenes up. Again, all these flowers, props, these are all digital environments. So with that, I'm gonna hand it back to Ishmael. Um, I know we're gonna talk about a couple more things and open it up for questions. So with that, Ishmael. Thank you, Will. So, um, yeah. Uh, as we talk about 3Kit, I think it's also important to touch on uh, the fact that not only do we focus on being able to provide you with a very high level of you know, visual fidelity as well as um, amount of images, we also do uh, support 3D configurations as well as augmented reality. So um, multiple customer experiences that you, would all be able to, that you would be able to provide to your customers all from a single platform. And then I think it's important to touch on, you know, a little bit about who we are over at 3Kit. And when we talk about our software, it's important to call out that um, it's actually been around since the mid 2000s, where our founder and now CTO, Ben Houston, got his start producing high quality um, visual effects, um, FX and CGI work for Hollywood films. And it was all done through um, his software, uh, different iterations of the current software that we're using now. Um, because it was a very highly scalable solution for teams to use across the globe while they were building, uh, while they were creating these films. But what he found was in 2016, the shift started happening within e-commerce where 3D became more easily accessible. And he noticed that this trend was happening where buyers were, you know, craving this more visually immersive experience. So he shifted all of his focus from 
Hollywood to e-commerce. And now in 2020, we are the global leader in visualization with just a here, just um, a short list of the many customers that we do currently have. So you'll see that our expertise ranges across multiple different industries. Um, we've got furniture, we've got fashion, sporting goods, contract furniture, dental, healthcare, the list continues to grow. So no matter what your use case is, we have the team to be able to support you. And um, we would love to have any sort of conversation with you if you'd like to chat. So with that, um, I am going to be opening up the floor here for questions, um, but if you would like to pull out your phones here and um, scan the QR code here on the left side of your screen, it is going to take you to a small, um, you know, a, a, an easy to use uh, mock-up store that we created with a couple of 3D assets that you can take a look at in obviously 3D as well as um, augmented reality. So with that, um, Feel free, anyone, please unmute yourself and or um, send in any sort of questions you have via chat. I am pulling up the chat now just to see if any questions come up. Ishmael, this is Hugh Barton. Can you hear me? Yes, sir, Hugh. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Good afternoon um, or good morning, depending on where you are. Um, <laughs> the, the, the Nile example, um, what was that being exposed through? Was that actually coming from their website or was that the three kit UI? What was, what was that we were looking at? Will, I know you built that one. Would you want to take this on? Yeah, absolutely. So this is actually a mock-up store. Um, it's powered by Magento. We can integrate anywhere. This one just happens to be running. Okay. So um, there are 3D and 2D examples. So what I showed you today was the standard Magento off the shelf using three kit generated images. Um, there is also a 3D experience on the store that exposes our 3D player. So much like that demo um, configurable product I showed you on the 3Kit platform, that product also lives on, um, on Magento as well. Yeah, okay, good, thank you. Thank you for that, appreciate yes. it. You're welcome. And I'll leave it up for a little bit longer now. Um, typical questions we get um, with this sort of product project is, you know, where do I start? Because a lot of the, you know, customers or prospects that we're speaking to don't have any 3D assets to to begin with, and um, simple answer to that is it's nothing to worry about. We do have an in-house 3D team, um, and then we do have a large pool of um, partners that are able to take on high-quality 3D work. So we can start from scratch from just a couple of images and then build upon that. Um, or if you do currently have any sort of 3D files, we can work with those and/or optimize them. Um, to your liking. And it looks like we did have a question that came in um, that was, what does an implementation look like? How does your team work with our team? So every implementation is going to be different. Um, you know, from a high level, it all starts with meeting with our project manager, really. So you're going to bring in the right players on your side that would be taking on this project. We would um, bring in our project manager to have that initial call to set expectations, go over the scope of work. And then we begin collecting the 3D assets or creating the 3D assets. And then we build upon this, your project in a phased approach. So we focus on 3D. And then we are going to have a quality workshop to make sure the 3D is up to your liking and then make any sort of iterations early on so that we don't have to do it further down the road. And then we start focusing on your website, all of the rules that we're going to have to be building into 3Kit, um, and then ultimately to the go live date. So I hope that answers it. Um, but as far as your team working with our team, um, a lot of you know Zoom meetings, a lot of calls, uh, multiple emails back and forth, um, sharing files, whatever it may be. So it looks like we have no other questions. Um, everyone, thank you so much for your time here on the call today. Um, please reach out to us if you have any sort of questions. Uh, we'd love to talk a little bit further. So with that, everyone, enjoy the rest of your week and hope to be in touch. Take care.